Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's your girl. It's me, Jen J. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is sometime in June. I don't really know what day today is. I've kind of been looking like a bum lately. I haven't been doing my hair, I haven't been doing my makeup. My hair is looking a mess. I haven't washed it in over, I wanna say maybe three weeks now. <laughs> and if I'm honest, I didn't even wear my satin bonnet to bed last night, so there's that. This is going to be a vlog, but primarily I need to do a bit of an update regarding my skin because my, okay, we have a lot to talk about. So, if you guys remember from my last vlog, which was a while ago, I'm gonna say almost a month now, I started talking about my skin and how I wanted to take care of my skin, what I wanted to do, things that I was learning, etc. So, I definitely need to update you guys to let you know how it was going. My skin was actually doing very well until just a couple of weeks ago. I started breaking out. I had three nasty pimples on my cheeks. I think it was mainly stress related and also mother nature was coming. So whatever the combination was, it wasn't working out. But it kind of gave me an idea for a little experiment. I got two pimples back to back on my cheeks and one of them I decided to leave alone and you guys know okay I should probably tell you I am kind of obsessed with picking up my skin as soon as I feel a pimple coming I want to pick at it I want to pick at it so badly it's like it's kind of like an addiction at this point so I've been really trying to like teach myself to not do that so I got two pimples and my plan was to leave them alone and I left one of them alone, but then the other one started getting just like kind of painful and it was huge and I just couldn't resist the urge. So I did not pick at one of them and this one I picked at and I wanted to see how they were going to heal. It's been about two weeks now and this is what my cheeks look like. I got a few other pimples there and one here as well. As you can see, I feel like the one that I picked at looks a lot worse. I hate to admit it. So I'm going to go out. I need to get a gift for a co-worker and this is what I look like. I kind of look a little crazy so I'm just going to put on the head wrap. My hair is so dry. I can just feel how dry she is. Oh and I have a knot. Yeah that's not cute. I have the one that I put on yesterday and I took it off like a hat last night so I figured I could just like pop it back on like a hat. I always find ways to be extra lazy if I can. Between you and I, I should probably either wash my hair or moisturize her. <laughs> I really should do something with my hair. Actually, you know what? This is it. Hey! It worked! It's a little loose though. We're good. So, as you guys know, I was ordering a bunch of products for my skin and stuff. They came, so I'm very excited to share that with you. Some of them I've actually been using, which is super exciting. However, I have to show you what I did, what I've been doing. I don't know how to describe it, okay. This is my skincare drawer. This is basically what I use every single night before I go to bed. And I have to share something with you guys, okay? You are allowed to judge me right now. So part of my plan for tonight is to clean out that drawer and as I do it, I will come back and talk to you guys about it. I think it'll be kind of cool. I don't know what to call it, but we'll have some time together tonight as I go through this drawer. Quite embarrassing, isn't it? It really is. It is not a reflection of who I am inside. I bought a couple of foundations that I want to talk about. I've been doing some quarantine shopping, okay? Actually been kind of annoying because some of the things that I bought took so long to get here that I kind of forgot I even bought things. I'm still actually waiting on press on nails that I got last month and where are they? Not here. It's okay. It's okay. There is worse things going on in the world right now, okay? So I got these foundation from NARS. I wasn't sure which one was going to be my color, so that's why I got two of them. This one is Caracas, Caracas, I don't know. And this one is Macau. Macau is the one that I've been using in my last, I don't know, 
two three videos and oh, it's so beautiful but it's just like a couple of shades darker than I am to the point that I can tell in like my hairline that it's a little darker but it's not too bad like I can get away with it and no one will be able to tell as long as I blend it properly with my neck Caracas is possibly my shade but the wrong undertone it has more of a reddish undertone and I'm more golden so it doesn't really sit right so I think I'm gonna return her but before I do so, I really want to like actually use it because I've only did like a low patch test and I just felt like it didn't really work out. I don't want to do like a big makeup or anything. I just want to like look decent to go outside because I'm actually going to see people. <laughs> so I'm going to a little get together, social distancing style with some coworkers. I guess I got to be social at work. I don't actually even want to wear a lot of foundation but I have to say the coverage in this foundation is amazing so I'm definitely a lot more made up than I wanted to be that's okay I guess I look decent right it's just be before work so before I go, I wanted to show you guys my little outfit. Nothing special. We're like straight vibing today. It's like chill mood. You know, I'm gonna be the only um, urban soul at this get together. So I gotta embrace that. Showing up with a head wrap. I think that's kind of like needed right now. Necessary. I didn't see you here. Is it just me or does it seem like everybody's just minding their business now? There's no corona. No one's scared of corona anymore, right? Corona's done. It's done. Yeah, it must be. Anyways, I got everything that I needed, so let's go. Because I still care about corona and I'm not about to get it. I don't want it. They can keep that. The next day. What's up, guys? So it is the next day. No, I did not clean out the drawer. I wanted to do it last night, but I had a terrible headache so like you know what i'll just go to bed and do it the next day and it is the next day and i still have a headache and i'm like an advil away from overdosing and probably dying so i'm gonna just have to deal with her so let's do this i gotta do it i gotta do something plus this video is due today uh, you got uh, let's talk we need to talk this view is absolutely horrible i'm sorry i can't do it that's not any better okay Okay, is this better? You guys, I, I just feel like I've just been off my game lately completely. I feel like I fell off. Ever since everything started happening with George Floyd and, you know, Breonna Taylor, uh, I've just completely fell off. Like, I I can't seem to get back on. I'm, I'm not myself, I guess I could say. It just kind of hit me really hard and social media is just not what it used to be in a sense so every time i go on instagram i just go down that rabbit hole of just watching one video after another and getting even more mad and mad and angry this is probably why i have this headache that doesn't go away even my last video if you guys watch closely you could tell that i, I was just kind of sad you know i feel sad i'm just tired I, I can't get the creative juices to flow i'm trying but it's just not happening i guess i'm just gonna have to keep pushing through because obviously i've gained such good momentum with my channel and i mean if i can use this platform to entertain you guys somehow then i should probably do my damn job but you know it's hard because i'm human and it's some days are worse than others. Well, let's get into this skincare drawer because we got a lot to do. <laughs> Everything's out, the drawer is clean, and basically, <laughs> This is everything. Wow, Jennifer. So I've kept some of the packaging because I wanted to talk to you guys about them. And I don't even know why I do this because no one cares about the packaging, right? No one cares. We also had some hair products in here, of course. Hair products takes over my life. I have hair products everywhere. 
and this is what we're working with. It's not so bad, we can do this. So I think I wanna to talk to you guys about my Yes Style order first, just because they are the latest addition to my collection. Actually, I'm lying. I did place one more order with Amazon. <laughs> yes Style was taking too long. It took like a month and a half for me to get these products. And it wasn't even a month and a half for it to get to Canada. It got to Canada within like two weeks. From Vancouver to here took a month. Why? So this little pile is everything that I got from Yes Style. And this pile over here are the things that I got from Amazon. And then I also got a few things from The Ordinary. So let's talk about that. I know, I know. <laughs> I know you're thinking, why am I buying products when I have all of this? But to be honest, I don't even use half of these anymore so just send help okay so the first one that i got from yes style is this jensen mask and i've used this a few times already and i love it it's so different than the kind of mask that i've used before it's so moisturizing it's like rubbing honey on your face <clears throat> this is why i don't like about these asian skincare <coughs> so, pardon me what I don't like about these Asian skincare because what is this? Can somebody translate that for me? Just leave it down below. Okay, thanks. So this Jensen mask, I actually really like. It just moisturizes my skin like no other. I've never used anything like this. So I got this Advanced Snail Mucin from Corsar X. And I've heard a lot about this, but I just couldn't really get myself to use it snail mucin i've been using this as my essence during the day and i actually really like the texture it's kind of like gooey and really slides on the skin very nicely so that's another thing that i got i also have this overnight spa mask but i haven't used this yet one of the themes that you'll notice is that i have a lot of moisturizing skincare and that's because i have dehydrated skin this moisturizer i haven't used yet either i don't really like the name miracle in products but i mean if it does the miracle for me then you'll be the first one to know so i've heard a lot about this and i'm surprised that i haven't used it yet but that's because i'm already you know i got a lot of products so i gotta pace myself this rice toner from i'm from rice Lots of great reviews on this. It's supposed to be very moisturizing, giving you a nice glow. That's what I've heard. I haven't used it yet. We'll see. I got this free mask with my order. And actually, this isn't even from here. This is from a Sephora order. <laughs> Clearly, I've been doing too much shopping. This sunscreen, I have never used sunscreen like this ever in my life, you guys. This thing goes on so smoothly. No white cast no gray undertone nothing it's like skincare but sunscreen my brain is confused i've never used anything like this but i'm really liking it and another sunscreen that came highly recommended is this one some of you guys actually recommended it i'm excited that i got it i haven't used it but when i do you will know i got this from amazon this misha time revolution essence and oh my god so this is my first very first experience with essences i never used essences before this and i didn't even really know what they really were but i have to say i have noticed a huge huge difference in my skincare once i started using this particular essence so i'm kind of like addicted to it now like i use it almost after every step in my routine really love it it just gets my skin to feel so hydrated and i love it i got this toner it's just a moisturizing toner i don't no, if I'll repurchase this. I feel like I'm just using water on my face. And I got these masks off Amazon. Now, I don't think those are the best. I sort of got them before doing my research. What I'm learning now, you want to make sure that your masks are as maybe natural as possible or without fragrances and stuff. And I think these have fragrance in it. So I don't know, girl. That's what I hear. So from The Ordinary, I mainly placed this order just the other day because I needed to replace a few products that ran out so these are the two serums that i use in my skincare so this is the niacinamide serum and this is alpha 
Arbutin. This is really good for texture, I hear, so that's why I repurchased it. I didn't notice a huge difference, to be completely honest, when I used it, but everybody's raving about these. So anyways, I decided to be more consistent with it and to give them a try. So this is completely done. I don't even know why I still have this. I think I kept it so I could talk to you guys about it, but there's nothing in there, girl. So I repurchased them. That's it right here. And I want to be consistent with them in my routine so that I can really reap the benefits because everybody loves them. But for me, I'm like, I don't really know. And the other thing that I got, obviously, I feel like I it was about time that I had this. I can't say this word, okay? I'm sorry. I'm Haitian and my tongue doesn't roll properly for me to be able to pronounce this. But here it is and I actually really like it in my skincare. I just started using it and it really hydrates my skin. So I like it. So yeah, this is all of the older products. Not too old. Like this is kind of recent in my skincare. And this I have been using for a while, but I still use. But some of these over here I really don't use anymore. So I'm going to kind of like go through this drawer purge because basically these are the products that i use and these are just their collecting dust so well not all of them i like you so i got these cotton pads from mia style and to be honest i actually don't really like them i i don't know they're too thin and maybe i'm not using them right but i'm not sure how i feel about these so whatever so there we go it looks so much better and i have like extra space so basically i could still buy some more products let's talk about the products that i've been using so as you guys know i've been using this beauty water as my toner i use it twice a day i use the misha essence as my nighttime essence for my double cleanser i use the pharmacy balm i have both flavors i guess you could call them they're both the same and they work the same once they're done though i'm probably not going to, going to buy them i will use something else my actual cleanser is in the shower oh my god you guys i have never used a cleanser like this ever ever like the texture how it feels on the skin how it doesn't strip my skin I've never used anything like this and I plan on using it forever. I also have this little spray. I love the spray of this, how it sprays out. It sprays in such a like white surface area. I really love it. I got this when I went to an event. It just hydrates and cools the skin. It does exactly what it says. For my exfoliators, I've been using the Paula's Choice. I think I mentioned this in my last video. I really, really like this stuff. So I'm still using it. A couple of days a week, I use the Pharmacy HA Resurfacing Serum. I like this. It really gives you a glow the next day, but it's super expensive. So there's probably cheaper alternatives out there, I'm sure. I use the Snail Mucin. For my serums, I use this word that I can pronounce, the niacinamide, the alpha arbutin one. And the last one that I use is this vitamin C serum for Paula's Choice. I actually got a drop of this in my eye and I had to go to the eye doctor, y'all. I thought I was going to go blind. It hurts so badly, so don't do that. Vitamin C protects your skin from free radicals and it's one of those vitamins that's all around really good for your skin so that's why i chose it but i don't know maybe i'll shop around a little bit so moisturizers i use this one the sweet chef superfood vitamins moisture boost i actually really like it i got it at an event when i got this one as well for my eye cream i use the pharmacy one and this is really good too however what i've been learning is that eye creams aren't technically necessary especially if you have a solid skincare routine so i'm probably not going to repurchase this so this i have in my routine i don't use it all the time i use it once in a while when my skin is acting up it's supposed to repair the skin barrier so that's why i have this here on hand and crave beauty is one of those brands that's just like it only makes products that are necessary for your skin i really like their brand and what they stand for so that's basically it and these are basically face oils i had them before you know going all k beauty 
So I don't really use them, but I mean, I don't know if I want to like throw them away or something. Maybe I could can give them away to like family and stuff. I don't know. This is more vitamin C that I had from The Ordinary. I kind of prefer the Paula's one. This one makes your skin sting a little bit. Um, that's another face oil that I have from The Ordinary. For now, I stopped using oils on my face, so some pause for now. I also have another face oil here. This one by... This one is by Urban Juve. And I have the Ordinary, my bad. I have the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Peel. And you know what? A lot of people use this and love it. And I use quite a bit of it, but I don't love it. I don't, it really just irritates my skin a little bit. I mean, I guess I have sensitive skin, but I thought my skin could handle it because so many people talk about it and they love it, but I don't love it. So, it's it's back here okay i also have this vitamin c night cream and i don't know how much i love it it makes my skin sting but apparently vitamin c is supposed to make your skin feel you know like hot to the touch i don't want to say it's hard to describe how it makes your skin feel for me it's like a tingly feeling and i don't love that so i've never really given this product a chance so when this is done perhaps i'll replace it with that but we'll see oh and i also have this um eye cream over here too so when this is done i'll use this and then i won't be buying any more eye cream mask are back here i used to love this mask by the body shop i believe there's mint in here there's tea tree oil my bad it says it's right here i used to love this and i use this all throughout my teenage years and i still have some so i'm probably gonna finish it and we'll see maybe i won't repurchase it but we'll see i just kind of like i've been hopping around using different products if you haven't noticed i also have this dead sea mud mask it makes my skin feel really nice and soft so i use it once a week my main chemical exfoliator is this from the ordinary so that's aha bha peeling solution i love this and you're not supposed to use it very often so i use it once a week and it really just gives my skin a nice glow just takes away all the dead skin my skin is acting up and i use this it just beats it back into formation really quickly i got this a while ago when i used to get facials the lady recommended it it's supposed to help with breakouts and to be honest i completely forgot i had this i mean y'all saw what the drawer looked like so now that i can see it perhaps i will use it this is a calming sleeping mask so if my skin's feeling dehydrated i will use this this is new haven't used it this is new haven't used it so oh yeah and this is like my pimple cream i've been using this for years years if i have a pimple coming i just put it on there and it really helps and you know what lately i've been off my game i haven't been using it that's probably why my face is looking all busted and that's about it so basically those are the products right here that i use on an almost daily basis it's not so bad i feel like it's a lot of products but <laughs> once you break it down by category then it's not so much these are the products that are you know they gotta go all right so when i used to get facials my facial lady recommended this and i love this so this is done and i kept the packaging for absolutely no reason but this i absolutely i really really love so if anything after my vitamin C is done. I think I will purchase a vitamin A serum or something just because my skin did really, really well with this. And then she recommended this one. And this is like the product from hell. It was the worst product that I've ever used. It irritates my skin so badly every single time I use it. Like that has to, I don't even know why I still have this because it has to go. It's just too strong for my skin. And then I, I got these, I don't remember how long ago. I'm sure they're expired. Um, this was a two-in-one primer and hydrator. And um, yeah, <laughs> this mask, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this little Michael Todd sample. I feel like I just have better cleanser now. I probably won't be using this. I also have this from pharmacy. I really, really love this actually. So it's done now, but when it wasn't done, I loved it. I had this product for at least like two years. I don't even know. I don't even know why I still have the packaging. It's totally expired, but I purchased this years ago. I still have some in there, but 
it has to go this is done this is another one of those products that i've had for years it's a retinoid gel it's basically like a mild chemical exfoliator like a chemical peel like your skin will literally peel with this and i used it back in the day to help with my hyperpigmentation but ugh, it's so old like this is at least five years old so it has to go yeah my skin is doing well that's basically the little update. My head is killing me, you guys. Oh my God. This is my little update for my skin. I'm pretty excited. I'm happy that this drawer is finally cleaned up because it was really getting on my nerve. I couldn't find anything in there. Let me know how you guys doing. Let me know if you are on this little skincare journey with me. And if you have any tips, advice, tricks, whatever, let me know because I am still learning and I would love to continue my education on skincare. If you guys are well, stay safe, keep your mental health up. It's really sad what's going on right now. And I mean, it's always been going on. Racism has always been real. I've experienced racism here in Canada. Like it's real everywhere, but it's just, it, it hits you differently when you are seeing people being killed and it, what makes me even more mad is, you know, you see these videos with these black men or even female, doesn't matter, and the cops are killing them. And then you see other videos with white people acting crazy, absolutely crazy, and they just get tased, you know, nothing happens to them. They make it home in time for dinner, and then they're just killing us. So it's just kind of like, it's a lot. Let me get up out of here. I need to edit this video and upload it today. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> Bye my hair is dry <laughs> Woo, look at this y'all like i haven't done my hair in weeks looks crazy now they're gonna believe that i have horsey hair right hmm. actually i just wanted to give you like one little update for comparison purposes because i'm gonna be mad if i don't have like a before and after shot but this is my skin as of june 16th okay this is like really my bad side y'all like i just <clears throat> okay it's my forehead i feel like i'm getting a little pimple right here but i'll just use my pimple cream tonight and that's it all right now i'm leaving bye